at the State Cup with Rod, Tanya, and Deb from Tamworth, just trying to get an idea of the commitment that it takes to get these youngsters to these type of events. So, how long of a drive is it to get here to Southern? Uh, took us a day, four and a half hours. All right, do the kids appreciate it and all the commitment no. that the parents are putting into it? Uh, of course or not. No. They just want more food and they, they love it though. They, they really enjoy their time here. Okay, the dads have absolutely no idea what goes on in the household. So I'll ask you what type of commitment does it take? Walk us through a week. What commitment does it take to get these kids out of school? I guess it's the training. It's the training. It's the training. It's the training. Type of commitment? Well, I guess it's two weekends away out of three because the Owl Junior League comes aren't just local. We have to travel to the small grass and so from five hours to three hours travel every weekend. And my, both my boys are in different um, divisions so they're on different weekends. So on the way to one weekend and another one for this weekend and it starts to add up financially. So let's talk about the finances. I mean, you have to really have a financial plan. Or you're in charge of the money in there. When you talk about commitment, you're saying, okay, we go to Lismore, we go there every other week. Or how many hours in the car is that? To Lismore and Grafton, it's four to five hours. Um, and then accommodation is petrol, and turn around and come back Sunday afternoon. And then you've got to get the kids in bed ready for a week of school after a big touring weekend. So it is. Okay, this is for all of you. Is it worth it? They enjoy it, they have fun, they get their mates. I mean, they're great bunch of kids. The coaches are really good. The coaches are awesome. They make such a commitment. They make it easy for us. All right, commitment all the way around the coaches, the players, and of course, the parents. Talk to the parents of Tamworth about the level of commitment that it takes to get these kids to the from the country to these events. We got Paul and Neil, the coaches of Tamworth, and tell us some of the hours that you put into not just getting to this tournament here in Sutherland, but say like when you go to Lismore. Yeah. Well, our, our regional tournaments have um, minimum travel time of about five hours on a bus. Um, going to Lismore would be a uh, one o'clock in the morning um, get to Lismore, so um, we certainly have um, a lot of time on the road and. Um, but the kids we use it as a bonding time. The kids actually one of the good things about being in the country and traveling together is that the kids get to know each other, and it's more than just a, a basketball experience. It's about an experience in life and learning to get on with each other. And yeah, we think it's a great little system. Yeah. Putting that many hours in, you must be you know independently rich or something like that. Be able to get away from work all that often. Uh, that's not completely <laughs> true, mate. We uh, certainly put everything we can but into the kids, and uh, yeah, it's, it certainly becomes quite costly. You talk about the bonding and you know the time that the kids spend together when when they're on the road. It, it, is that maybe one of the reasons why, say, the NBL is full of kids from the country? Yeah. I think so. I think there's um, there's that mentality that you know to get a game we're prepared to do just about anything, um, travel anytime. I mean, you talk to any of the local Tamworth people who have gone on to make any country, state sides, and you talk to them about the number of hours. And I mean, they're talking twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year worth of expenses to go and take the kids away, stay in motels to watch them. So, it's it's a time and it's a money, but um, that's just something we accept in the country. We know that that's what you've got to do. So simply put, the, the country kids and the country coaches and parents have it tougher than the city kids. Most certainly, absolutely. <laughs> well put, Steve. All right. <laughs> yeah. we'll leave that. There you go. Summed up. That's why you have the success. The hard work and the dedication, no doubt, from the country. 